Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In this video we will show you how to use a global variable or equation in a distance mate. For this example, uh, we're gonna use these two components here. I will add a mate, a distance mate between those two faces. We'll just start with clicking mate, distance, and we can give them a value, an initial value, let's say 20 or 50 millimeters. Okay, so now that our mate is ready, we just have to go to annotations, just right click on annotations and make sure you have this option enabled, show feature dimensions. So now we will see the dimension there. If you don't see it, you just go to mate and just select the distance mate and you will be able to see it. After that, you can just double click the dimension. And you can type in equal and then you will be able to add any equation or global variable. In this case, I didn't have any global variable set up, so it didn't give me the option. So we can just uh, create a new global variable. Just go to equations, create a global variable, just call it A for now. Let's give the value of 50. OK. So now if we go back to the dimension, double click. Equals. Global variables, select A. Yes. Okay. And now we have set up the dimension with a global variable. So if we want to modify it, the dimension, we just have to go to global variables, change the value. Let's say change to 100. Case millimeters, okay, and it's done. Thank you for joining us, and see you on the next step. Tip, just.